been waking up early in the year of the hustle and it's starting to make me tired. Overcoming the afternoon slump is tough. There are two fundamentals you have to put in place to break through your afternoon crash. I'm Josh, PreferableLife.com. Two things happened yesterday. One I directed and the other was divine, supernatural, I guess. And it showed me exactly what I need to do, what you need to do every day to break through the afternoon crush, the afternoon slump. We get tired in the afternoon. We get down in the afternoon because we are kind of stuck in our day. We aren't forward thinking. We are frozen. That's what happened. That's the exact word that I experience, the exact word that I feel. And it just causes checking out. It causes not pushing forward. Yesterday, I documented going through this afternoon slump. I'm going to share that with you and then we'll come back and I'll tell you the two things that you can do today to break through your afternoon slump. So the last month or so I've hit a big crash, one, two o'clock, one, one to three o'clock. So I'm trying something new today. Instead of laying down for 40 minutes, which is what I typically have done, I'm going on a walk. So we're gonna push through that slump so we can keep hustling. I'll let you know how it goes when I get back and if it helped reawaken all the brain fog. Just got back from the hustle hike, feeling good. We'll see if it lasts. So that is one of the fundamentals. Fitness, a light walk, a brisk walk, yoga, stretching. You gotta figure out for you what's preferable for you, what is effortless for you, depending on your day and your daily routine. It's all gonna look different. Quite a few of my friends, whenever I was in the cubicle world, they brought these exercise balls, the little bounce balls. So you gotta figure out for you what is a easy to do in your day, your routine, physical activity. That's half of the equation. Well, the hustle walk worked for about 30 minutes. So don't know if that's the solution. We'll try something else tomorrow. So shortly after that, I received three things in the mail that took my focus off of today and made me think about three months from now. So the second part you gotta to attack to overcome your afternoon slump is your head. At this point, I had only attacked my body, my fitness part, and then these three things coming in the mail forced me to get my thoughts off of today, to lift my eyes, lift my gaze into the future. So two things to overcome, break through your afternoon slump, one, your fitness, how are you going to awaken the body, get the blood flow going? And two, your head, how are you going to positively get your head out of today and forward thinking three months from now? You have audiobooks, you have podcasts, you have YouTube videos, you have books, you have an endless amount of things that break the cycle of today and get you thinking about forward motion, forward progress tomorrow, three months from now. So you gotta dial in for you, what is the thing that is best for you right now to get you off and out of today and onto the future to break through the afternoon slump, the frozen, the stuckness that you're experiencing, the sleepiness that you're experiencing. Because when you awaken your goals and your vision, energy comes after. I hope this helped. If it did, hit the like button, hit subscribe, I'm Josh, PreferableLife.com. Break through your afternoon slump and live a vibrant day every day. And I'll catch you on the next one.